Today is October 29th, on which we commemorate James Hannington, Bishop of Eastern Equatorial Africa and his companions, martyrs. Born in Sussex in 1847 into a prosperous mercantile family, James Hannington was a poor scholar and struggled to find his place in life. He spent time working in the family business and in the military before deciding to enter the ministry, primarily to staff the chapel that was on his father's estate. The death of his mother before he was ordained, however, would create in James a true conversion and spur in him a zealous dedication to his new calling. In 1882, he volunteered to serve as a missionary to East Africa. His first attempts, however, ended quickly when he fell ill and was forced to return to England. In 1885, he returned, now consecrated as Bishop of Eastern Equatorial Africa. As his first act, Hannington decided to build a better, safer road from Mombasa inland to Uganda. The only existing road took travelers through disease-ridden country and was controlled by Arab slave traders. Mwanga II, King of Buganda, an area within Uganda, was suspicious of Hannington's motives, fearing he was trying to create a route for a military invasion. Hannington refused to stop building the road, however, knowing what a boon such a path would be for the gospel. He reached Lake Victoria on October 21, 1885, where Mwanga had him detained and his Christian porters murdered. On October 29th, Hannington himself was driven through with two spears. Before dying, he gave his executioners the charge. Go, tell Mwanga, I have purchased the road to Uganda with my blood. Indeed, he, like so many pioneering missionaries, died before he could make any converts. But in his death, Bishop Hannington, both literally and spiritually, paved the way for the gospel. Today, the Anglican churches of Uganda and Kenya are among the most vibrant in the communion. For this, we can all thank God for his many faithful servants, both English and African, who, like Bishop Hannington, gave all to bring the good news of Jesus Christ to East Africa. Let us pray. Precious in your sight, O Lord, is the death of your saints, whose faithful witness by your providence has its great reward. We give you thanks for your martyrs, James Hannington and his companions, who purchased with their blood a road into Uganda for the proclamation of the gospel. And we pray that with them we may also obtain the crown of righteousness, which is laid up for all who love the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.